Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. Red Mist in the house once again. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great. And we, my friends, are playing some more Clash Royale. Or oh, right now, we've got Goizen Royale because it's always a giant poison deck. But as it happens, the first game, we're actually playing against a Three Musketeers giant P.E.K.K.A. deck. As you can see, that Fire Spirit, uh, sorry, the Ice Spirit went and froze his uh, Three Musketeers perfectly so we can go ahead and send that fireball to the face and take out those three musketeers and we actually zapped as well which was completely useless but i thought that they were going to move out of the radius so i went ahead and zapped as well but hey it's okay because we're only two elixir down and we're already starting up our push again so this time he's coming in with a knight. I've seen the musketeers. I've seen the knight. So I'm expecting him to be playing the um, the new three musketeers knight minor cycle deck. Um, which basically that's what he's playing. But he's actually put the uh, giant pecker in there as well. Um, but as you can see here the mini pecker and the minor. Uh, sorry the hog are going to get to the tower. He has to play that ice spirit again. And we're going to reset and we're going to sit here nice and happy, not a problem. And then he goes and plays that level 2 Giant Pekka. Now, I'm just going to send in my Fire Spirits and my Archers, which actually causes him to zap. And the Archers are going to get a couple of shots off on the tower. Um, this guy's only a level 8, so he's doing really well. Um, but as you can see, very predictable as always. So obviously, minions are going to go ahead and take care of the... Uh, giant Pekka, no problem. The Ice Spirit is actually going to freeze him, and that's going to take him out with a single shot, without a single shot to our tower. He's now going to have to defend our Pekka on the left-hand lane. He pumped up way too early. He's only got his Miner to actually defend, so he's waiting for those three Musketeers again. The Hog Rider is going to get in on the tower. I could have fireballed, but I'm not going to because I don't want to miss them. So I wait so I can hit the two on the right, no problem. And then we're going to come in with our archers, minions to distract his minions, uh, take a little bit of damage to our tower but let the archers survive, that's why I purposely played them in the back, so I could build up a push behind my hog rider. As you can see here, hog rider is taking the tank for the three musketeers and I'm going to go ahead and fireball his three musketeers, take a lot of damage on his tower and send the mini pecker for his miner. Archers for his minions, a zap for his ice spirit, and we're sitting pretty. We're going to take home that victory because we sent two fireballs straight into the face of all three musketeers, and then one fireball into the face of two musketeers. And well, I'm pretty sure they're not enjoying themselves in that match. But as you can see, guys, the, the deck's working quick, pretty well. The deck is working, working pretty well brain can't words yeah um uh yeah okay so as you can see here guys we're gonna be fighting up against a giant poison this was the last game that i just played we're gonna be fighting a giant poison as you can see from yesterday's video i am using the hog cycle deck i've had a little bit more practice with it and look at this attack guys the fireball to kill his set level 7 musketeer, the ice spirit to freeze the tower, the minions and the mini pecker, takes that tower down to 115 HP. That is insane. So these archers would have finished off that tower if he wasn't quite annoying and went and put down his giant. But we're going to put down our minions and watch this tactic, guys. He went and put his uh, fr musk uh, three... Blah, blah. Brain can't talk. Mini Pekka in the back, which we're going to use our three fire spirits to take him out with our minions as well. And we only took like one shot from that giant. That's pretty insane. So he don't know what he's doing. I want to cycle through to my zap, so I just go ahead. Uh, sorry, my fireball. So I just go ahead and zap that musketeer. Send my hog rider down on the left hand side. Go ahead and put my ice spirit to go and freeze these minions. And while we're doing some heavy damage over on the left, we're going to accept damage on our right because obviously we wanted to push over there. We're going to go send in our mini pecker and our fire spirits, and we're going to be able to take that tower or take out the 
defense on the tower and he's going to bring it down to 300 so i'm not too worried because i'm already halfway through on damage on his left hand tower so i'm not too worried about the right hand tower because i know that i've got a very good advantage my team my deck can outplay his very well because of the fireball shutting down that musketeer constantly um, if I was letting him build up that push, that musketeer would be a problem. And he keeps playing his giant. So now he's backed his giant up with his barbarians. His archers are there. His giant's already dead. He's constantly wasting elixir so that he can get the tower on the left. We've got four musketeer, uh, sorry, four archers waiting, ready to go. The uh, hog rider is actually going to take the damage over from the mini pecker and the musketeer the archers and the fire spirits and the minions are going to go and get that tower we already give him a good game because i saw that barbarians i was going to fireball them he put down the minions at the same time so i got even more value from this and watch this guys look how quick this mini pecker fire spirits and archers wreck that giant that is insane he literally moved like four tiles and he was dead. That's how quick the mini pecker and archers destroy the giant. So, as you can see here, we were doing well. We were playing decently. And hopefully, we're going to be able to continue on. We've got a lot of chests to open up right now. So, hopefully, we can go get something good. We've got some musketeers, some uh, knights. They're trying to predict... Look, they're trying to get us to play those three musketeer deck. And I've got to admit, guys, I did actually test it out. But I wasn't too good with it. Um, but maybe when I learn how to play it a little bit more, I might actually bring it into the... Uh, what do you call it? Um, also, guys... Put down in the comments what you think about the new update, like the balance changes in a few days. It's pretty insane. Um, quick little rundown if you haven't seen it. They're making the giant 5% less damage, so that's going to be awesome. The poison is now no longer going to slow uh, down movement speed and attack speed. So it's literally just going to become a dot, which is a damage over time spell rather than slowing down the attack and movement as well. The elixir cost is going to go up by one for the elixir pump. Um, there's quite a few. Like the one that I'm most excited about, guys, is the log. I love the log as a as a card, and the fact that it's going to be doing nine percent more damage and it's going to have a further radius is actually pretty insane. From what I can gather, they're actually increasing the range so that you could put the log on the line like on the bridge and it would actually now roll far enough to hit um the king tower so if somebody goes and puts an elixir pump behind the tower um i believe it's actually going to hit the elixir pump behind the tower which if that is the case then that's pretty damn insane um because if that's what they're gonna do that's gonna be pretty crazy um, I don't know if that's what they are planning though. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and fireball that right there and take out those guys, put down the archers, and look at that, guys. Wow, that fireball was insane amounts of damage. I'm really happy with the fire with my level of fireball now. Um, it really does help me out quite a lot, as you can see. There was, what was that, three fire spirits jumped into that um, Valkyrie. Um, and then it went ahead and took out the rest. So let's do it again, guys. He's going to be looking at doing that again. So let's go ahead and do this. But this time, we're going to put down this mini pecker. And we're going to get, like, one shot there. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, should we zap that? Let's zap it. We're not going to make it to the tower, so that's fine. We're cycling through these cards, so we're actually going to have a push to go at him ourselves this time. So we're going to be looking at um, letting him play down the elixir pump, because he knows he's going to need it. Um, so let's try and get... Okay, he's actually going to go play his musketeer, so that's fine. Oh, big mistake, my friend. Big mistake. There it is. 
happy days. That's what I'm talking about. Um, let's go ahead and put these down on the line here. Let's go do this. Let's go do this. And let's go put down this archer here as well. And now we're going to send in a push ourselves. Um, but that's fine. Let's go over here. Let's zap that guy over there. And nice. We've got a fair bit of damage on that tower, which is pretty nice. Um, God damn it, dude. Stop coming in with that push. It's not working. It's really not working, but yet he keeps playing it. What is he thinking? Let's just go ahead and do that over there. That mini P.E.K.K.A. should get some heavy damage over there. That fireball is going to go in there and do that over there. That is going to come in with that over there. His fireball is going to go down. We're going to take that. We're going to give him a thumbs up. We're going to give him a good game because he was playing that way way too predictable as i keep telling you before guys don't play the same way he just had like four attempts at that tower and every single time it was shut down because he done the exact same thing and then he kept and then he made the huge mistake of playing the elixir pump in the front and that was it I knew as soon as he done that, that was game over. So this guy's going to be playing Giant Poison. Let's just go ahead and force him to play over the back here. And we're going to freeze all of that over there. We're going to get some good damage on that tower over there. Go on, Mini Pekka. Nice. Okay, so that's not too bad. We're going to come in with our minions over here. He's going to fireball that. We're going to come in with our archers over here. And the tower's going to take that fire spirit, not our archers. And we're going to tank the damage from that giant because we're not too worried about it. And that, my friends, is how you do that. So let's go ahead and put down this hog rider again, followed by these ice spirits. I'm pretty sure he's not got his barbarian, so uh, there they are. A little bit late to the party, my friend. Um, so we're okay with that. Let's just go ahead and counter these with our fire spirits. And that should be enough. And we're just going to zap these goblins. We don't want no damage done to our tower. Um, so, all in all, not too bad. Um, he hasn't got his goblins, has he? So, I'm, I'm not sure what he's got in his deck. Let's just go ahead and play down the mini P.E.K.K.A. with the minions. And force him. Nice. So he's actually going to have to play a giant skeleton over their back there. And we're just going to send down this uh, hog rider in the side over here again. Let's pull this skeleton over because I think he might get to the tower. Um, nice. Okay, so we're able to do that. We're going to tank the damage from that over there because we're not too fussed about it. Um, I don't know, guys. Okay, cool. Um, so he's going to do that. Let's just go ahead and use this and this just to cycle some cards. Um, nice, one fire spirit to the tower, nice, there you go baby. Let's go ahead and fireball this girl over here. Let's go ahead and put down this over here, and put down this over here. And we'll go do this over here like this. And nice, we just shut that down hard my friends. We're going to give this guy a good a thumbs up, and we're going to give him a thanks. Because that hog rider is going to go in and get enough damage over there. That is going to go over here. Mini Pecker is going to go over here. The fire spirits are going to go down over there. That's going to go down over here. And the archers are going to go down over here as well. And we're just going to go in with this over here. And he's got nothing over there, guys. We're going to zap that right there. That hog rider is going to get enough shots. We're going to give him a good game, and that is going to be it. Game over because of the fact that he was running a giant and a giant skeleton. Don't really know what that deck was, my friend, but, um, yeah. Okay, um, whatever. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like, please hit that subscribe, and as always, peace on the streets.